What does it mean to have the right attitude? And that's the next step in the strategy and on my 10-day execution cycle. For, remember, first I had to define success. That's what I did in day 11, uh, two days ago. I said, I'm gonna define success by creating a new business out of nothing, using only what's in my head and what my experience is and all the preparations that I have done over many years. So on day two, then I had to set the clear goals. And the clear goals were going to be, I was going to write out a pricing schedule and then I was going to define how am I going to re-architect all of these different products that we have. And we have a lot of them. And so that brings me to the third day in my journal here, which I'm filming on April the 25th. It's a Saturday morning, uh, April the 25th, 2020. And I am talking about this very, the, I hope that you'll see my attitude. I'm making a 100% commitment. And what you're going to see is I'm going to show you here, well, with my wife's magical editing, I'm going to show you here what our YouTube channel looks like right now. I'm going to show you what our iTunes channel looks like, right? So look at, start by just scrolling down and looking at the YouTube channel and you'll see kind of an erratic mix of sometimes you have my image on there, sometimes you have mixtures of me uh, teaching some people in prison, sometimes you have me interviewing side by side people who have gone through the system or people who, who may be able to bring value. Like recently, I interviewed a CEO of a company that employs thousands of people who is helping me teach and inspire other people through his book, Good Work and uh, Goodwill and Hard Work. Or rather, strike that, Hard Work and Goodwill. And that's Jerry Lundergan I'm talking about. But I do this type of work to bring things into prison and to show people what do you have to do to become successful? What do you have to do to build something? Well, I can tell you, you've got to have 100% commitment. And you can see it, I hope, through my daily, through our team's daily publications on YouTube, our daily publications on iTunes. You can see that through all the abundance of free content that we give away at prison professors. It takes you know hundreds of hours to develop this content. Content, but we want to do this to help as many people as possible to, so that people who know who are going through struggle, what do you have to do to get through that struggle and come back strong with your dignity intact? Right now, I'm, I'm really adding a lot of content by reading James Catlich's letters from prison. He is a person who, with whom we worked with prior to him going in, and he really inspired. He really got inspired by the message, and he started documenting his own journey. And it was, as a result, rather than going through it, you know, crumbling in a corner, all sad and and and, and disappointed on where he is in life, he's rewriting the next chapter. And that's what we would encourage you to do: rewrite the next chapter and do it in this very methodical way that I try to show you has worked for me and that I know that can work for you. So I, what I do hope that you see is 100% commitment with the right attitude. That means you define success. You, you, you create a plan that will help you get from where you are to where you want to go. You put priorities in place and then you execute the plan every single day. So if you're not doing that, you really probably don't have 100% commitment to success. That's what I want you to see. I want you to see what 100% commitment to success looks like. I want to reaffirm that I never ask anybody to do anything that I am not doing. And I want to show you in real time how I am doing it. So during this 10-day cycle of the, journey, of the journal, you are seeing how I am getting there. Right? With, my, with, with a mindset of, of getting something that's going to deliver a real deliverable outcome on the other side. That's what you can be doing. But I couldn't be doing these things right now had I not made decisions years ago to put myself on a pathway to, to succeed. I had to learn how to develop my vocabulary. I had to learn how to string words into sentences. I had to learn how to turn sentences into paragraphs and pages and then eventual, eventually manuscripts and create an abundance of content that I could turn into a digital asset and package in many different ways. And we do that every day through our different brands, which you see at the bottom of here, prisonprofessors.com, our free information resource to show people how to face a challenge with the criminal justice system and get through it strong, through whitecollaradvice.com that my partner, Justin Paperni, runs, and it's his high touch point of providing one-on-one -on -one consulting services through resilientcourses.com 
where we create self-help pr programs for people who are facing court, sentencing, or prison. And then, through, of course, through our free podcast on, uh, that's available on iTunes. We create so much content to demonstrate our authenticity that if somebody's going through a challenge, we can help them. And now I am packaging all of that information into a new product that we will market to jails and prisons and, and anybody else that is facing a challenge and, and helping them see how do they become successful? How do they use all these strategies to grow and prosper and succeed, even in the time that we need to reinvent ourselves with work from home businesses? That's what I'm doing. That's what I would encourage you to do. That's what I wanted to share on April the 25th, 2020, which is day 13 of my daily journal, showing you that if you put your mind right, you can make things happen. And if you want to visit any of our other things, just look at our brands beneath here and we'll see if we can help you. But today I will be working and executing that plan with 100% commitment to success. That's what it means to have the right attitude.